Hello, my name is John Zacharias, and while I was in law school in San Diego, I became enthralled with search engine optimization. Ever since then, when I graduated in 2008, I have been doing search engine optimization aggressively for corporations, as well as personal injury law firms, employment law firms, and professional athletes, as well as professional teams. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate some of the current results that I have achieved on Google so that you can see that my practices are up to date and current. For instance, one of my clients, Pay Anywhere, is a formidable competitor of SquareUp. One of the main keywords that we run after is credit card reader for Android. Look, in the organic results, Pay Anywhere is beating SquareUp for the number one position. We're also beating PayPal and into it, which are definitely formidable competitors that are worth noting that we're beating them. Not only are we ranking once though, the app itself is also ranking too. So we have two rankings on the first page in the organic. And the organic gets all the clicks rather than rather than the paid search, which is why this has been such a success. Is we don't just go for one, I go for multiple listings on the first page for the best keywords. Again, here you have accept credit cards on the go. Even though this is a lower volume in a long tail keyword, it's still very competitive with, with, with a one out of one competition level, meaning it's 100% competitive. Um, and again, Pay Anywhere is number one organically, and underneath us is Intuit, Square Up, Chase Payment Tech, PayPal, to name a few of the competitors the, of which we're going against here. One more tab over. Here, except credit cards iPhone, Square Up has beaten us, but we're ranking number two, PayPal's number three, and again, into its number four. So these are really the things, but here we are again. So we're beating them with our app and we're number seven again. So we have two rankings on the first page. Here, for Pay Anywhere, this is a branding situation. So when I first took over the site, there was negative reviews, there was negative stars, there was you know rip-off report reviews, all sorts of things that were bothering our brand. And what I was able to do through search engine optimization is push the bad stuff down to the second page and make sure that the first page is fully controlled by us so that everything looks good. For instance, if you go to the second page, You'll notice how you get some three-star reviews, some three-star reviews. No, no, we knocked those right off the map, and we control what goes on the first page. In addition to that, through using Google Plus Local in the new Google Plus uh, features for search, we're able to take over a portion of the search engine right here and continuously post to our Google Plus page, which is right here. And this is just simply a on-page optimization task. Not Search engine optimization doesn't only work on URLs and websites. It also works on anything that's on the Internet. So, for instance, if you type in credit card reader, which is the most highly coveted term in our industry, you'll notice that if you filter it by apps, Pay Anywhere comes up first. So it works on, on, on the app optimization. To take that one step further, let's go to Google Play. And we type in accept credit cards. Pay Anywhere is coming up number two, right here. And when you type in credit card processing Android, for instance, Pay Anywhere is number one. So there you go. Another term, process credit cards, pay anywhere is number one. Let's throw a random out there for a random one out there for you. I'll just do uh, Android credit card processing. Pay anywhere again is number one and it's beating square. This is the same thing as search engine optimization, but it's just for applications. Likewise, I would be able to do 
travel trip it expedia boom it's all the way down here vacation TripAdvisors is not even on the map. Hotels. Again. Oh, here you go. So TripAdvisor Hotels app is there. But I would be able to easily push this to number one because we're already here. So I don't have to push it here. I can just push it right to number one. Let's do TripAdvisor. TripAdvisor, TripAdvisor. So both of your apps are coming up here, and then and then you have the Paris guides and all these other little things that, that doesn't seem to be published by you guys. It looks like you guys have only published. Yeah, these are all published by you guys. So you guys have a different app per city, which is actually amazing because now... I could rank each one of these for the city. So when you type in NYC, I could have this specific URL right here come up number one, both on the Google Play Store and on the Google search engines. Just like I'm able to a, a, to protect the brand to make sure that nobody comes up when you search our name, I'm also able to attack other brands. So, for instance, when you type in Square Up into Google, which is obviously our biggest competitor, you know, you, you see there's, you see this Square Up, you see this card payment options, you see this Amazon, and then you see this listing right here called creditcardmachines.net, okay? And what this listing does here is, is that you know, it's ranked number five or six. And the, the, the sole purpose of this listing is so that when you type it into Google, you know, we get we get the hit. It's on, it's on another domain name other than, you know, panywhere.com so that, you know, there's no issues with, uh, you know, they would have to get to Google's search algorithm in order to try to take any, you know, action against attacking their brand and Google will never give up that information. It's not like paid advertising where it's very easily searchable and traceable. Um, meanwhile, you know, we're just sitting there for, for our biggest competitor's brand. Now, vice versa, let's look, let's look at what's going on here. So if I type in TripAdvisor on Bing, so you guys are coming up first, and you guys are covering the news section, and it looks like you guys have this pretty set. Now let's talk. About, let's go to Google and see what they're doing. And I have a feeling that it's going to be a little bit more competitive the landscape because there's other people that are going after this. So there you go. You guys have the Google Plus listings. You have the stock price. And you have TripAdvisor, and then you guys have the ads on top. So you guys have it pretty nicely set up here. Um, I'm incognito, of course, so everything is fresh. These, these are these aren't cash results, but um, you know this kind of stuff right here is where we could really is where we could really work on it. We 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 could we could work on you know. these other syndicates that have your guys' own brand on it and are basically trying to take your traffic. Now, TripAdvisor is not even the best word for you guys because TripAdvisor is simply going to be the brand name itself. It doesn't say what they want out of it. So, for instance, it gets 1.83 million searches a month exactly on Google, but it's only 12 cents a click. Um, you know, if you go to travel or travel sites or travel advisor for instance you can get up in the two three dollars per click um and again you know if you go to this is even as a keyword
let me show you another example of where I've attacked a brand itself and basically taken some of their market. So I know that there's a market for hot wire Labor Day coupons. So what I did is I issued a press release and then I optimized it to the top. So here's my name actually, Zacharias Enterprises. And the only you know the only one that's beaten me is coupons.com. Hotwire has to pay for advertising to show up for their own for their own thing. They're not even showing up number one for hot hotwire coupons. Retail, I'm beating Retail Me Not, Living Social, Offers.com, Coupon Cabin, Savings.com, and the in these these are the these are the biggest players in the game when it comes down to this. Now, if if you go to, for instance, Trip Advisor Coupons. There you go. This is the exact problem. Is is that this is what the people are, are searching when when they want not the brand itself, but they're looking for a deal. And look, TripAdvisor literally doesn't even come up on the first page. It, 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 it's every other company. So I so I could have done the same exact thing to TripAdvisor as I did to Hotwire, and then just used affiliate marketing to make money off of that in perpetuity. Again, this needs to be highly protected and it needs to make sure that if we can cut out all these advertisers, you know, then you guys don't have, don't have to pay affiliate fees anymore, which saves the company 15 to 20 to 10% depending on the affiliate deals that you guys are currently offering.